We are here at Mod Nats, the biggest modified car show in the UK. Okay guys, so welcome back to another video on Cast TV. Like I say, we're here at Mod Nats up in Lincoln this year. The weather is not on our side at all. It has not stopped raining all day and I don't think it is due to stop raining. But everyone is still having a good time. There's a great vibe, everyone is happy. Um, it is nearly lunchtime, so we'll, uh, we'll get this video done. We'll give you a nice walk around of what's going on. Um, for now, I'll show you what we've got on the stand. We've got my F-Type, we've got a few of Raj's cars, the E30 M3, uh, Kurav's RS4, and then we've got Raj's 8 Series as well. And then we've also got a couple of guests on the stand today. We've got Eamon's Z3M Coupe, uh, the clown shoe. Everyone loves that, it's getting a lot of attention. And then finally, we've got this awesome 1M in the back as well. Um, so we are here with Airlift Performance, Slam Sanctuary, and a massive car audio stand with a load of stock in it. Um, so we'll give you a quick walk around and we'll show you what we've got. Okay, so I was not lying, we have brought so much stock this year and it's already flying off the shelves, I'm not joking. So we've brought a load of subwoofers, we've got Alpine, Kenwood, Pioneer, JBL. If you're looking for something today, you need to be here. Not that you'll know because this video comes out afterwards. But anyway, uh, let's have a walk around to Slam Sanctuary. We've got our normal Slam Sanctuary pop-up store as well. If you haven't already checked out the Essentials range, make sure you do. So, awesome new colours, and we're doing really nice deals on these. So we do do a package, if you want to buy all six colours, we have a bundle on the website for that. Uh, or we can do two for £45, they're normally £25, a little bit cheaper than the classic designs, um, made for everyday wear. But yeah, these are doing really well here, they're quite popular. People just like to change up their wardrobe and get something basic and essential in it. So, working really well. Lastly we have got airlift performance. So we're getting a lot of inquiries. We always do at this show. Lots of people wondering, how much is it to bag my car? Can I bag this car? Can I bag that car? Uh, what's involved in doing it? So this is really good for sort of educating people on what airlift is, how it drives, how you install it, and just sort of introducing people to, to how it works, basically. So yeah, really good sort of engagement with a lot of new customers. It's been really good fun as well. Okay, so we're gonna go for a small walk around to the hall that we're in, it's called the Epic Center because everyone in here is obviously epic. Uh, first thing that will catch your eye is this awesome Mercedes A45. So, airlift performance, uh, but the thing that makes this car is the three-piece forged Rotoform LASR wheels. These are absolutely awesome. I think the color really goes well with the car as well. It's like an anthracite gray, like a gunmetal gray. It's got the Maxton body kit on it as well. Um, nice sort of simplistic design. It hasn't gone overboard with all the carbon. Uh, but yeah, really nice that, I like that. So immediately next to that, I didn't even clock it at first. We've got Maguire's, we've got Tommy's Renault 5. Uh, you would have seen this on our hot hatch video. This is absolutely awesome. But we have already covered that, so I'm not gonna hang about on that. Uh, I'm gonna keep walking, see what else we've got. So the next thing I've spotted that we've absolutely got to touch on is this amazing Subaru STI. So it's on Airlift Performance 3P or 3H, not entirely sure. It's got an awesome boot build, which we'll get a close of in a minute. It's done some really nice sort of leather uh, and sort of stitch lining in it. It's 
got Recaro seats, but the main selling point of this car is not at the works wheels, although they are awesome. If you have a look underneath, he's kindly put this mirror here for us to see. That custom exhaust is ridiculous. It's got the heat shielding around it all the way down to, I can't even see, that could go all the way down to the turbo, I'm not sure, but that is awesome. That is a lot of work. You need to appreciate that. Okay, so this car is easily the best car in this school. The amount of detail that's gone into this build is insane. Uh, it does, however, have a bit of a tragic backstory to it. So the owner of this car, a few years ago, he very sadly lost all of the interior, the engine, in, in a house fire, basically. He destroyed his house, they lost all of their belongings with his parents. Um, so it's been a bit of a journey to get this car back to where it is today. Uh, and alongside that as well, his plan was to have this car next to his best mate. They, were, they wanted both their cars side by side on the top 16 show and shine podium at this show. However, his mate sadly passed away not long after the house fire. So this car is a little bit of a tribute to honor not only what him and his parents lost in the house fire, uh, but also his mate who sadly can't be here with his own build today. Who's done really well. He's, I think it's airlift performance suspension. He's got a really nice JL Audio boot build in the Saab. Uh, Ford 680 wheels uh, and just a beautiful interior. I don't think there's an engine in it at the moment, uh, but when it's ready, I'm sure this is going to be ridiculous. Okay, so the last car we're going to touch on in this haul is this ridiculously wide BMW i8. Um, so it's got a full Liberty Walk kit. It's on these amazing, and they are amazing, three SDM wheels, uh, forged wheels. I'm not sure if this is the same i8 that used to belong to the performance company, the distributors in the UK for airlift, because they did have it up for sale a few years ago. Um, but that is neither here nor there. Uh, if this is something he's done himself, or a vision that he's created himself, it, it's still amazing. These cars look so futuristic, they're almost like spaceships. I absolutely love them. Okay, so that has covered some of what I think anyway are the best cars in this first haul. Uh, trade stand wise in this haul, there is a lot going on. So there's a few clothing companies, including Slam Sanctuary, which is the only one I will mention for obvious reasons. Uh, you've got Turbo Smart, who are sort of the masters alongside Forge for like blow off valves, things like that, all available on our tuning store website. Uh, you've got a lot of detailing companies around the ends. And then back towards us, you've got a couple more sort of smaller clothing brands and again, detailing. That's sort of the theme going on in here is detailing and clothes. There's a lot going on, it's very busy. I think everyone's trying to get out of the rain. So we are going to grab a brolly, I think. We're going to head outside. If the rain is too bad, we're going to go straight into the, the second hall. But let's have a, a walk around, see what else is going on. So this is the second hall. I think this hall at night, well at least last night, it also doubles up as like the rave hall. So they've got a big old stage down there. I think they cleared the cars out last night uh, and had a bit of a boogie in it, which is kind of cool. First thing that catches your eye uh, is this awesome 7 Series. It's on airlift suspension, uh, but it's the wheels that I love. The wheels are from an old school Bentley, maybe a Continental. It's wicked. This thing sits on the floor. All right, there is a lot of good cars in here to choose from, so don't judge me for the ones that I pick. But I think we need to talk about the uh, the Subaru wagon. Is that an STI wagon? I think it's an STI wagon. Airlift suspension again. Um, again, for me, it's the wheels. Rotoform SIXs from the cask range. So these are a very nicely priced wheel. And if you've got big brakes, these are brilliant. But they just look really good on Jap cars. Especially if you're on airlift suspension as well because they're not concaved, they're convexed, as in the wheel sits outwards a bit. You can almost get the car sitting on the spoke, so it just looks so good. But you don't see these every day. I like these. 
So I'm going to change up the theme a little bit because so far the theme we've walked around has very much been old BMWs and Jap cars. So here we have an amazing Audi A5, uh, full airlift suspension and these Forge 680 wheels. They look a little bit like the Rotoform uh, CVT wheels you can get in a cast wheel. Obviously these are a lot more detailed and they just look insane. I absolutely love these. Um, I think it's got the Maxton body kit on it. I could be wrong. Uh, love it again. Very simplistic. It just adds a little bit more, especially when it's sitting on the floor. It just makes it a bit more aggressive. But I think my favourite thing about this car is just how simplistic his boot build is. So he's got the tank raised in the boot. He's got this nice sort of lining on the floor. That's how you do a boot build. You keep all of your space, but you still have your airlift. That's good. I like that. So this hall is a little bit smaller than the other one, so we're not going to cover any more cars in here. Uh, a miracle has happened and it has stopped raining, so we're going to head outside. But just before we do, pop your head in there. There is an awesome little RC uh, race car track. And I think there's a couple of world champion RC car races in there as well. It's really cool. So pop your head over and we'll go outside. While it has stopped raining, we are going to do a mad rush around the outside because it is about to start raining again. So let's go have a look. I'll pick out some cars, see what we got. Okay, so this might not be the most exciting car here, but I do have a massive soft spot for these. I absolutely love them. Uh, Mark V Supra, BC Forged wheels, some very chunky boys for tires, uh, and he's got one of the best wings I've ever seen on these cars. While everyone is distracted by the hydraulic show, I think we should touch on this. This is Mark's the owner and the organizer of Modified National. I believe this is his car, R34 GTR in the Modified Nationals uh, wrap. We have seen one of these today already. Well, not a GTR, um, but they are just so special. Seeing these in the flesh, you don't see them every day unless you come to car shows every weekend in the summer like we do. You see a few, but they don't get any less special when you do see them. We've literally just been walking for about two minutes and I keep saying this place is massive, but it is genuinely huge. You've got, you've got literally a fairground, which is its own normal size fairground, just in the middle of everything. Okay, so this I believe is the hot rod tent. So you've got some ridiculous sort of old American cars with some very silly engines. We'll take a walk around, we'll show you. And of course you've got Maguires tucked away in the hot rod tent. Where else would they be? So besides the massive V8 in here, what I do love is that it's literally all stripped back. Everything in the bottom is exposed. You can see the subframe, the suspension arms. There's literally nothing in the way. So if you take a look in there, everything is out on show. And everything has been stripped back, painted, every little last part. It's awesome. All right, so in here we've got Vibe, as in Vibe Audio. Uh, you're not gonna be able to hear a word I'm saying, but let's have a listen and check out the cars. So this is something else that would have been awesome to see, but I haven't seen it on today. Is the Vibe trailer. So you can literally stand in that tunnel of subs and just lose your eardrums. Sounds like fun. I imagine it'll be fun for about two minutes and then you just have pain and suffering the rest of the weekend, but it's a shame we couldn't see that. 
Okay, so we've covered a lot of it, but it's quite difficult because of how wet and muddy and slippery it is. This is sort of the last section. I think we might find a few hidden gems. So let's have a little bit of a wonder. See what we can find. Cameraman Maverick has just pointed out for me something that we're gonna to have to touch on just for him. Cameraman Maverick, he has one of these and it's his favorite thing in the world. Salika, but this one's a bit special, you say. You think it's supercharged? This is something I wanna talk about because this could be something good for a tuning store series. Toyota GT86 or Subaru BRZ, um, you can do a lot to these. So he's obviously got a custom front bumper, some wider arches, some very wide rear arches. It's quite a nice body kit actually. I have to figure out where that's from. But I think this could be a good idea for the channel. Maybe once we've moved the TT on maybe, um, this could be another good budget build that we could do next. So this is why I absolutely love walking the car parks at show. You just find hidden gems, like builds like that. Just ridiculously silly, but perfect at the same time. I think, to be honest, it feels like we've been walking for about three hours now. It just tries trying to give you an idea of the scale of this event is massive. Like if Maverick, if you turn around now, you can just see how far the cars go. And behind that, you've got a campsite, and you've got more cars, and behind those cars, you've got another campsite. It just goes on forever. And then look, another campsite. Okay guys, so, I've tried to give you, as best I can, a small walkthrough throughout the show. As I said, it is absolutely massive and it is so hard to get it all in one video. Uh, and it's about to start raining again, so I'm gonna send Maverick out in the rain. He can get a load of B-roll, so you can get a better, better idea of the size and what else is here before the end of the video. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you like it, please. It does help us, because we know what to keep doing and what to not do. If you didn't like it, leave me an angry comment and I will happily reply to you in some way or another. Probably won't. Um, yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already, because we try and do this at every single show. We're pretty much going to every single show this year. Uh, so we will try and give you more walk around videos. Uh, apart from that, that is pretty much everything from me. So yeah, like the video, subscribe, um, and keep an eye out for some more videos in the future. Thank you.